Hello and welcome to the Gothic Antigen Tarot. Today we're going to do a tarot reading using the Grid Scan Tarot um, and my Oracle deck and the Rider Waite deck. We're going to be doing a reading about the collective and we're going to start right now. So the first card out is the um, Jester card. It's still in a Christian key, so there's someone watching you. Um, they are using their keyboard. They're watching you online. They're also collecting your data, um, and they're trying to figure out what you were doing. They're watching you very closely. Um, there may be some people in power that are watching you as well, so it's not just somebody who's trying to copycat you and is jealous of you. Um, they're using different programs and apps, so they might have, um, you might have an app on your phone that's tracking you. Now, some of the things that's definitely fueling this is that this person or people who are following you, and there may be more than one, are definitely doing drugs, and they're trying to fuel their drug habits, so you can see the drug dealer card there. Um, and so that is definitely something that is being affected. Um, so you are aware of this, um. This is the Impartial Justice card, um, and so you do know this. Um, there are also people in power that know this that are watching you. Um, so they are watching the people that are watching you. Okay, so let's get to some of the Oracle cards now, um, and we'll see what those have to say. Um, and so this is an Oracle deck that I created myself. Um, and we'll get to see some of the cards there. So the first card out um, is that your spiritual team is protecting you. Um, and that's definitely something that's going on now. All these people are watching you. And so they want you to be vigilant for roaring lions for people who are watching you. But you're well aware of this already. Um, you may get visions in dreams um, that your spirit guides and your ancestors are telling you. Um, so pay attention to your dreams at this time. Um, and so one of the things that's blocking you is that you have some childhood trauma that's blocking you. And that may be another reason why um, you are being uh, watched. Now they are actually sending you the evil eye and that you may have also had a near-death experience. Um, or at least you are aware of these people that are following you. Um, and so you sent some of that back to, to sender, um, some of that energy, because you're on your higher calling. Um, and you are a five-finger being who's been able to heal your energy after these people have been following you. Okay? So that's definitely the truth. So you need to take a break and breathe in and make sure that you are recharging yourself and recharging your energy. Um, and you may need to heal your inner child and love the mini-me inside of you. And that will be something that will be important to do. Okay? So, that is key here. Another thing that you're going to want to do when you're healing yourself. And so now let's bring out the wider weight tarot deck. Um, and get some more insight into what is going on here. Um... And so you will want to make sure that you're healing yourself, especially from these people who are watching you. Um, that will definitely be key to making sure that you can protect your energy. Okay, so you do have, these people do see, you have the Knight of Cups here. You do see that, that you're coming into abundance and that you have the skills in order to come into this abundance. And this is another reason why they're watching you right now. They may have overlooked you in the past, but now they're definitely watching you. Now you can see here, here is I think the Seven of Swords. So yeah, there are definitely people who are watching you that are jealous. Um, and they want what you have. Now the Wheel of Karma is spinning here. And so there are definitely these people are getting their karma. Um, and you have sent this back to sender. Um, so again, with the cups here, so here's the page of cups. So they definitely do see that you are coming into some abundance. Okay, so let's see what else is going on here. Um, so you are clear audience, so you can hear these people when they're actually searching you 
out um, and you are well aware of what they're doing. So you may be a Jesus descendant, um, so you have royal blood, um, and that may be something that is key to you. And there's definitely divine intervention, and so definitely your spirit guides and your ancestors are definitely watching over you. Okay? Um, so, yeah, so they're using different tools to track you. They may be tracking your email, um, and as you can see here, so that is the Fool card. So there's definitely more than one. There is a ringleader here. So here's impartial justice. Um, so, um, and there's definitely a ringleader and at least two different people, two minions, um, and they're definitely using different tools. So this is the lock picking card. So they're definitely trying to get into your email and they're definitely trying to see what you're doing and checking you out. So some of the last cards, so you are well aware of this. You kind of are using your psychic insight um, and you are aware, aware of this and you're watching you. Um, so you are watching, you know that this is happening so it will not affect you and your ancestors are protecting you. So not mistake.